Good afternoon. Please excuse my appearance. Um, I laid down for about 15 minutes after I got home. I cleaned the house today. So I've had a pretty busy week between walking dogs, um, cleaning houses, and doing my own yard work. Uh, so yes, um, I'd like to think sometimes I feel, you know, young still. I'm not saying I'm old. I'm just saying that I feel like I'm in my 20s. But um, then reality sits in and it's like, no, woman, you are <laughs> 43. <laughs> so I wanted to point something out and hopefully it's a truthful, helpful seed for others to accept and for the Lord Jesus Christ to water. So his word um, tells us we should edify one another and I believe people get this wrong along with most other scriptures because they don't have his Holy Spirit. Edifying one another doesn't mean to encourage one another to continue to make the same mistakes. It also doesn't mean to give flowery type comments to others um, to make them feel comfortable where they're at in their walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. Now I'm not saying that edifying means to um, be disrespectful when it comes to correcting um, others understanding of his word um, we are to help one another um, by telling others to um, to acquire his holy spirit and to do that you have to humble yourself you have to know you have to admit that you've been indoctrinated your entire life with lies and you have to be willing to let go of everything your ego and your pride and what you have built as um, your knowledge that you acquired in this world because worldly knowledge is foolishness to the Lord God. So um, I think that for the most part that's what we're supposed to do as messengers, as servants of the Lord Jesus Christ is to um, just keep reminding people that their only teacher should be His Holy Spirit. Um, too often I see people referring others to other people's channels on YouTube and to also um, watch and listen to others' teachings when that's the complete opposite of what we should be telling others to do. We should tell them to read his word for yourself, to build a relationship with the living God that is with you, just to sit down and stop listening to man. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 22, listen to no man. I've said this in so many of my videos, and I don't see very many channels saying this to others. It's listen to no man because man is going to place a stumbling block in front of you because your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is through His Holy Spirit. And if you're not getting truth through the Lord Jesus Christ and you're only getting half truth that you are going down the wrong path and it's really upsetting to see so many make 
the same mistakes over and over again and I understand this is all spiritual Ephesians 6 12 I understand they're being spiritually led to do that because they're leaning on their own understanding because they're listening to other people because they're still in the world because they have pride because they're leaning on their foolish ways which again the worldly knowledge and worldly ways is foolishness to the Lord God so they're being foolish virgins because they think they got it like I got this I was told I'm saved I was told I'm born again by other people or I was told if I say this salvation prayer, I'm all set. Which, there is no prayer to become born again. It's not just verbally regurgitating something someone else said and all of a sudden you're born again and you're a new creation. A new creation actually means a new creation. Meaning that you understand with his Holy Spirit how wrong and upside down everything is that you used to do, that you were murdering yourself by the actions that you were partaking in in your old life. Sin is death. And those that tell you that you can sin and still inherit the kingdom of heaven apparently they don't read his word and or they're reading his word without his holy spirit because they don't have the same understanding as someone who actually has his holy spirit his holy spirit guides you into all truth and if you're listening to others you are accursed you are under a strong delusion that the Lord God has placed upon you. 2 Thessalonians 2, 10 and 11. You lack knowledge, Hosea 4, 6, where you are going to perish because you were leaning on your own understanding. And it's not an innocent thing to post links and share other people's videos it's not an innocent thing it's an ignorant thing to do because you're placing a stumbling block in front of yourself by going against the Lord when he tells you that you should only get truth through his Holy Spirit and you would know that if you read his word and you understood it through his Holy Spirit so again you can you can disagree with me with everything I've said in this video but I'm speaking truth and if you're denying truth you're denying the Lord Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is truth and that's a fact so it's a very simple equation you deny truth you deny Christ I hope I planted a really good seed stop listening to others stop watching their videos the ones that call themselves teachers because they're going to be accountable for what they say and do and you are going down the path of destruction if you're following them rather than opening up his word yourself humbling yourself asking Christ to come into your life make you a new creation humble yourself to the point where he will give you his Holy Spirit he's not gonna just give it to just anybody because if that was the case then the many are called fewer chosen would be a lie and it's not not very many people you know will quote that few few doesn't mean millions few means a few He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. As the days of Noah, only eight were saved. Do you think like he's going to save millions today? No, he's going to save those who actually acquired his Holy Spirit 
by not listening to man, not going along with what everybody else is saying, actually getting his Holy Spirit, and knowing that when you have his Holy Spirit, you have to come away from the world. You have to come out of the world, come out of her, lest you suffer from her plagues and go down that wide path to destruction. Hell is real. It is real. I haven't had any dreams or visions of or experiences of hell. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ for having mercy upon me. But I have had some pretty serious dreams that he has given me to show me the seriousness of this situation. So I'm telling you, time is running short. And you're wasting time by sitting in front of your phone or in front of your computer watching other people and listening to other people. Because I'll tell you what, that's worshiping other people. Worship just means bringing attention to. You're worshiping that person that you're listening to on YouTube. That's the whole intent. Satan deceived the whole world, and he would deceive the, even the elect if it were possible. So he cannot deceive those who actually have his Holy Spirit, but he's deceiving everyone else. Because everyone else is following everybody else. It's a vicious cycle of you're getting information from other people who get information from other people who get information for other people and wide is the path so they're all going to destruction it's really sad it is so sad to witness I can't even tell you how upsetting it is and I pray for others all the time that's good works making videos about other people is dead works it's dead works because you're going after your flesh and it's something carnal. Good works is opening up your Bible, talking to the Lord Jesus Christ, praying for others, loving others unconditionally, loving others the way Christ loves you. That's good works. Not being critical and picking apart others and having opinions all over the place. Keep your opinion with the Lord Jesus Christ. He knows how you feel. You're a human being. Yes, you're going to have an opinion. But if you keep it with the Lord Jesus Christ, you're not going to be punished for that. But if you display your foolishness in a video by judging other people and so-called correcting their errors when you're full of errors yourself, that's wrong. And if you don't know that that's wrong, you're under a strong delusion. Sorry to say, but that's true. So humble yourself. It's very humble to keep your mouth shut. It's very humble to not want to um, feel the need to go after somebody to correct them. That's called being humble. Humbling yourself to know that only the Lord Jesus Christ can give you truth. So opening up your Bible and have him give you the revelations to help you in your walk to work out your salvation. I love you. I hope this wasn't long winded. And again, I do these videos to help others. I'm not asking you to listen to me. I'm telling you to stop listening to everyone and start building a real relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, a real relationship with truth. I love you and God bless.